What's up, Serial Woes? It's your favorite crazy Serial Insane Applejacks, and my camera just cut out right there, so I'm filling this in as a gap. This will seem kind of out of place because I will lay it right in front of the other part of the video, so don't feel too confused and dazed. Also, I'm just going to say this as a warning right now. There's a part where I rip off some tape in this video, so you have been warned if you are a headphone user, and yeah. This is just me doing that back up, so I'll let you enjoy the video, and I'll catch y'all at the end of the box. Woo! It's your boy Insane Apple Jackson. I'm here once again with the Atomic Game Squad, and as you can see, I'm here chilling in front of the camera once again, and it's not the end of the box, so that can only mean one of a couple of things, actually. But today, I'm actually here to sit up here and do another box opening, and it's been a second since I've done one, so this should actually be something fun, and let's get right into it. So bringing the package off the ground, you can already see I got me something from Amazon once again. It's a beautiful place to make stuff send. And sorry about that taping, and probably should have warned you about that beforehand, but yeah. So, you might notice that this video is kind of like another unboxing I did, and that's because I'm doing something of the same product family. So, as you can see right here, I got myself another bag by Everkai, as I call them. Everybody else calls them Every Key for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird, but enunciation. Fuck it. Anyways, I set up here and I needed. I was going to a card shop recently, as I told you in one of my other videos, and I found out that it wasn't even enough room in my last bag for just my chilling going to a card shop stuff so I was like fuck it time to upgrade so I set up here and got the next up edition well one of the other editions which is the Everkai or Everkey flight which is also a flight security friendly bag so we're going to jump right in this and I'll show you all the secret compartments of this and I'll try to let you know where all the details are to get this. Cool, cool. Checkpoint safety stuff. So, right off the back, right here, what we can see is that it can fit up to a 16 inch laptop, or at least that's what it's saying on the tag. This is also the same as the last one where it has compartments with anti static. So, I'll just open that up right now. Something that you will notice that is different though, is on this bag it actually has heavier duty zippers in comparison which can actually be locked more easily. Let me get that all up there. And that's just something pretty cool, especially if you're going to sit up here and travel or do anything fun. Now on the front here it has like this letterish material material in certain parts which is different than the last one In the last one it just had this mesh and the mesh was actually eh, because it got soaked through but it wasn't as bad as like it should have been so on my last bag with the conversation we had I sit up here and I give it like seven but with this one I'm a little bit more confident because of these parts right here so yay so let's open up this first section right here Oops. and infam infamous paper pulling out that infamous paper so in this section right here it's meant for many little gadgets like your phone your uh, wallet gum or stuff like that and you can put business cards pens and stuff in here this is one of the smaller sections just for little you digs i don't know what you would pack in here specifically uh no real good way to actually pack this but as you get into the bigger sections there are actual purposes for different sections so that's the only reason i'm breaking this down on the sides here it has two of these little water bottle holder type situations going on this one's actually filled with a mesh the other one oh, the other one not so much filled with an actual water bottle holding mesh 
and it has like a little wired tab also so if your bottle doesn't fit completely in there you can just sit up here and hook it on I'm sorry I don't actually have an example bottle I don't carry bottles like that so yeah coming into detail just right above the actual accessory pack uh, sleeve I was telling you about right there and these are really getting in the way there's an ear foam jack part that you run through and you put it in here just with your foam and stuff like that and run it run the cable all the way back to yourself a uh, pretty standard thing not some book bags don't have it though so just thought I'd mention it so let's get into the second section that is Now the second section is obviously bigger and it sits up here with a compartment that is also supposed to be anti-static I believe and it's more so well right there and there's this part right here as you can see they include this fake little cutout piece to show you that it's a place for your tablets to go uh, just books and all kinds of sorts of things could fit into this section when they did the example piece they also put in like a bunch of recording equipment such as cameras and stuff in this part right here with these pouches and that's one of the things i actually like about this bag well this series of bags that they have all these extra pa pockets for no reason pockets and pouches and ugh, and hella zippers just to make sure that stuff seals up and doesn't get lost because like I had a bunch of book bags before this and shit would just get lost all over so yeah and cutting into probably the largest section in this bag and the main reason to own one would be the back section which is the whole in-flight security check section which is actually 180 convertible so it flips out just like this Oops, get those little jail packs out of there not supposed to eat those so get throw those away right after this now let me stop playing but uh if you'll notice this right here is the actual pouch and this time it actually has a velcro crow strap the last model didn't actually have that which could be a problem if you do a bunch of moving around or if you just have your bag open and you slip and stuff in and out but I don't know it's just a nice thing to have as an option and some people say they don't like to use the case because you can just get it in here and it'll be perfectly padded I'm trying to see it's pretty plush I'd say it's about like uh, I don't know measurements like that <laughs> but it feels like about two inches thick I don't know maybe I'm just tripping but I'd still use a case on this but it does have some nice plush to it and if you can see right here with me just squeezing on it like that it seems like it'd give a lot of protection even if it was just by your, itself so if you don't have a laptop case or whatever, this might just be the bag for you as well. Although, the only thing that seems a little weird, at certain parts, like in between right here, it does have a thinness. At the same time, I do like this because it doesn't give the bag too much bulk and it uh, adds on to the build of the actual backing of the bag, which I'll show you in a second. And yeah, once again, just to mention it, this is supposed to be completely static, well, anti-static, so your computer and all your other electric devices should be safe in here because it won't short out with the shock and all that. So, going to the back of this with your little shoulder straps and all that junk, you got Jadig, your adjustables right there and right here but that's not what I really want to talk about with all this meshing right here and 
the cooling pads. It's supposed to be pretty aerodynamic with letting wind through and all this extra stuff. So it doesn't get like too hot and it's not supposed to be too heavy, making this actually one of the more decent traveling bags. And in the other model, the Swift that I have, it's actually pretty decent on that too. But from filling these pads, it seems like it'll allow a little bit more air through because of how it's foam cushioned. And the foam cushioning actually does go through onto this side a little bit. And by pushing on it, you can fill it within the actual laptop carrying piece. So that's a plus on it. One thing, and from filling down here in the corners of the bag, it actually feels like this is the model with the laptop corner protection, or at least for the bottom of the bag, because uh, the laptop's corners are actually one of the most sensitive spots and could make the screen crack, so yeah. And you could get away with fitting about a 17 inch laptop within this bag, so you really want that extra protection. But all in all, pretty cool bag for the price it is. It's about 83 bucks uh, on Amazon. I'll try to link all that info down below and give you the you dig. I just felt like I should give you a second update on that because I didn't actually go through a uh, update after I started using it. I just kept using it because it's what I had and that's what was really cool. But I hope if you were in the market for looking for a gaming bag or a laptop bag or something like this, this would help you. I'm not actually like sponsored by them or anything. I was just sitting up here like, oh well, shit. The last bag they made was pretty cool and these bags come with like a lifetime warranty thing. So it's like, all right, why not? So yeah. I'll catch y'all all at the end of the box and hope you enjoyed this. What's up, Cereal Bowls? Welcome to the end of the box. We're chilling here once again after another video. <laughs> and my bad if I am super out of energy today. I hope you all enjoyed that. I thank you for sitting here watching that, even though I wasn't the most cohesive or whatever about it today. I'm just going to admit it. Class kicked my ass today, and I'm trying to record the video early so I'll be on time but you know how that is it's like 1 56 in the fucking morning here for me right now and I was just trying to get something done and chill and show you all so really I hope you enjoy it and I thank you all for supporting us always and being the beautiful cereal bowl nation that you are the best nation on YouTube if you didn't know and to all you people that don't know and aren't a part of the cereal bowl nation on the side right here I have all my social medias and stuff for you to sit up here and hit you should check out my facebook my twitter my instagram my twitch if you sit up here and you hit me up on any of those social means i'll sit up here and i'll try to get back to you as fast as i can and just join the twitch fam and come watch us when i'm streaming on sundays because that's usually when i'm going nowadays also below that is a prompt to sit up here and tell you to join the cereal bowl nation the best nation on youtube if you didn't know and just chill with it also, if you like this video, please hit this video with a like to show the support, share it, do what you gotta do, get the word out there, and appreciate y'all as always. I'm gonna go catch some Z's, and I don't know, uh, hopefully I can still manage to get this video up on time now that I finally did it early, so once again, appreciate you all, and I'll catch y'all later. Munch, 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 munch.